Hey guys, it's Kina, and today I am back with Bleach episodes 342 until 346. If you're wondering why there's a huge jump from episode 310 to now, it's because that whole chunk was filler. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm just I'm just really looking forward to what's gonna happen now. Now that Aizen's been sealed, you know, all the iron cars have been defeated. Um, yeah. I just, I just wonder where we'll go from here. So if you do like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content from me. Follow my Twitch, my Instagram, and yeah, let's just get right into this. Let's go, next arc. Oh, and I'm also wearing um, a Hitsugaya, Hitsugaya shirt. <sighs> I think it's from Uniqlo. I had an Ichigo shirt a long time ago, but it's gone now. Um, so that sucks. But anyways, let's get into this. I think this is a new opening. I think no. I think I think this is an opening for like the filler. Um, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna watch this. I don't think I'll get spoiled. Uh, hopefully not. <laughs> Con. <laughs> oh my god. What is? I'm guessing this is the filler. Why are they all fighting each other? <laughs> I think this episode is definitely mixed canon and filler, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna mentally prepare myself for that. <laughs> I'm just gonna pretend I know what's going on. So, <laughs> animation. Let's go. Oh, he looks good. <laughs> this jumping from episode 310 to this wow this is such a like just the way they're drawn is such a like step up oh is it winter oh The way they're drawn is so different. <laughs> so you guys, you guys let me know what parts of this is not canon and what parts are canon. <laughs> I'm guessing this is the filler or not. Ooh, what the hell? <laughs> hmm. Yes, sir. Hmm, okay. <laughs> what a human! Oh my gosh, she's so pretty! Oh my god! 
all our friends. <laughs> Aww. Aww. <laughs> this is so cute. Kego! <laughs> Kego is me. She's so real. Kego is the realest one here. <laughs> Ouch. Watch out. Aww. <laughs> She's so cute. She's so tiny. Wow, they're all so pretty. This animation. Oh my god, don't tell me. Don't tell me it's who I think it is. <laughs> How many episodes has it been? I missed you, Khan. I missed you. I don't want this episode to make me cry. Please. <sighs> hmm. Oh. Oh, okay. I see you. I see you. <laughs> this reminds me of the... Ah, what episode was it? It was the... There were fireworks in that episode too. I think it was during like a festival or something. Was it like autumn? Not, don't remember. <laughs> Ooh, filler. Yeah. <laughs> Uh oh. Jeez. <laughs> oh. Yeah, she's so cool. Oh my god, this looks so good. My god. Sorry, I'm just... I'm just like not over... Like, you know, coming from 310 to to this episode is like... It's such a huge like improvement on like just animation. It's so pretty. Damn, okay. We'll see you again soon. <laughs> okay, let's watch this. We'll see you soon. It's okay. <laughs> expect to cry during this oh, it's all the memories 
Oh. I love them so much, you guys. Wow. We'll see you soon, Rukia. Don't worry. We'll see you soon. <laughs> okay, let's move on to episode 343. Let's go. Is it going to be the same opening? Or no opening? 17. So, boss of high school? Wow. This is an opening that I'm very familiar with. Let's go. To those on YouTube, probably just gonna hear me sing. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna watch it. Um hopefully no big spoilers or anything. So last opening i think if i remember correctly um because this used to be like in um like the opening the anime opening compilations i think this is the last opening for this part of the anime i just i just can't imagine getting that as an opening you know because obviously like when did bleach end like like 2012 right or somewhere around there um so I just can't like imagine you, you guys, longtime fans, getting this last opening that, that you you think it was the last opening. Oh, and then that title card moment with Ichigo walking. Oh, I can't imagine how you guys felt. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. Oh, thank God for me and all of you Bleach fans. Thank God, Bleach is continuing. <laughs> Uh, I just can't imagine you guys getting this as your last opening during that time that you thought it was going to end. That's what makes me cry a lot, actually. Why is his face like that? <laughs> like, no compliments, bro. <laughs> Aww. Okay, so she can still see see them. Oh, the <laughs> Oh, okay. They're writing that down. Hmm. Hello, oh, Aizen. He looks so, he looks so pretty! Oh, Mizuyuro, you look so gorgeous. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> that is a very interesting haircut. Ooh, still there. Oh. Oh. Show me his face! <laughs> She'll be back soon. It's fine. I didn't get a proper look at his hair. Ooh! Bro! Okay, go. Okay, go. <laughs> He's good looking. You know, I said it in my last. Did I say it in my last reaction? Anyways, he's good looking. <laughs> Oh, 
Don't lie. <laughs> Don't lie. No, you see, once you get a taste of that, no, you can never go back. Also, oh my god, he looks so good. Like, <laughs> look at him. Jeez. Mm hmm. Ugh. <laughs> Let's go. Uh. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that happens to me a lot. This guy! <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Ooh! Okay, let's go. My girl. Is this like reverse psychology? <laughs> oh no, what is this? This is freaking... What is that? High and low? <laughs> this has suddenly become a delinquent show. It's kind of making me want to like rewatch High and Low actually. <laughs> exactly. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, you look so good. Ah, the glow ups, man. The glow ups. What is your name, sir? Execution. Oh my god, and then this is suddenly Death Parade. <gasps> oh! Oh my god, I want I want a PSP. I don't think they they don't sell it anymore, right? Oh, uh, but I want a PSP so bad. <laughs> oh, was that cutting? Ooh. She was in front of Urahara shop. Ooh. I'm 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 thinking Kunin's gonna be a bigger deal soon, I think. Aww. Okay, that was episode three four three. Um yeah, I definitely think Kunin's gonna be um a much more bigger deal. You know, especially now that Ichigo does not have 
um, his soul reaper powers anymore. And of course, Ishid is back to <laughs> Ishid is back to the way he was before. <laughs> so I wonder if during this arc we won't get um, like Rukia and all of them. Mm. Judging from what I saw in the opening, I don't think so. So yeah, this is probably just gonna be like about the characters that we've already seen. So I'm curious to see what the hell is up. <laughs> also, all of your glow ups, they look so good. Ishida looks the same, but there's something different about him. Maybe, maybe it's the animation. Like maybe it's the way they're drawn now. I don't know, it seems like Kubo has found his like, character style right so yeah he looks same but different at the same time um but i think my favorite glow up i think it has to be keiko he looks good he looks good with the short hair i like mizuro's um hair right now um i definitely pre prefer it over the uh, over the other one um but keiko looks good keiko looks good it's just this shit is just gonna be me simping over all of them, bro. Like it's not a joke anymore. <laughs> I don't know any throwbacks. That is a line. Also, not him calling him four eyes when he's freaking wearing glasses too. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh shit. Uh oh. <laughs> oh my god. Bro, <laughs> that is a bit, um, that's a bit suspicious. <laughs> Unagi, is that eel? Yeah, eel. From cats sitting to finding people. Uh, yeah. Ik Ikumi una, una, <laughs> sorry. Ikumi Una Gi. Her name is Eel? I need to add her to the food character list. Her just kidnapping him in a white van does not look good. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> he is still taped up. <laughs> Get it off of him. Uh oh. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. So it must be Mr. Execution or whatever his name is. Or not. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Daddy? Who are you? Damn! Damn! Even Jinta got a glow up. Huh, interesting. Interesting that they're growing up. Um, if I'm not mistaken, one of you guys mentioned that oh, I totally forgot. Like they're not they're not like real, right? Uh, so if one of you could like remind me on that. Um, but it's interesting that if they're not like real, it's interesting that they're growing. And anyway, where were you guys doing the whole thing? Hmm? Where? <laughs> Karin. Not much. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> to an outsider, it's probably like, <laughs> not good. Hmm? Ginjo. Ginjo. Kugo. Gin! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, I miss Gin. I'm still upset about it, by the way. Hmm. I'm probably gonna guess he's an ally. He'll be an ally because of the opening. And the main antagonist will be whoever was up on that tree. Also, speaking of Ishin, if you are new here, I think I made like a theory about Ishin that he, I think he is a Shiba. I don't know if I'm right about that. Also because Kayan looks exactly like <laughs> Ichigo. I don't know if it was spoiled to me or anything, but if you've been here before, like I mentioned this a long time ago in one of my earlier reactions, but I don't know like anything else. So maybe I'm wrong about that. Maybe I'm right. But either way, I'm still very curious to know more about Ichigo. She really likes bread. <laughs> Come on, Ichigo! Come on, she's offering you like she's offering you bread. Like accept it, you know? And now she's gonna eat it all. <laughs> And obviously, if you've been here before, I've talked about it. I do know um, who ends up with who. Um, I don't know who survives though. But I do know, I'm guessing all of you here have watched Bleach before or read it. So I'm gonna say a spoiler. <laughs> I, do, I do know that Orihime and Ichigo do end up together. I think Renji and Rukia are together too. So I'm just like wondering when Ichigo and Orihime will like I wonder when that relationship will start. Like at this point, I feel like it's very apparent that Orihime definitely likes him since the beginning. And obviously Ichigo going through all the, all of the all of the shit he's been through probably didn't even have like time to really, you know, think about 
romance and everything because obviously like you know like yes he went to save her but then it's also like we saw it as a he cares for his friends so much kind of thing so i do wonder when we will get to see a bit more development in his side maybe falling for her or maybe that's not gonna happen i don't know maybe they just end up together <laughs> because you know some animes just do that i think i have mentioned this before a long time ago like even though it's not romance i just want to see the progression from you know the beginning to the end and it makes sense you know so far the character growth with like a lot of these characters have been done so well so i just hope we do get a consistent development in that sense and maybe you're thinking like no it's not romance so who cares but it's still you know it's like still common sense to have that kind of development so yeah i just i just really hope that that's there Mm. Mm. Who are you? Oh, oh shit. <gasps> Ishida? No. What the fuck? I know he'll be fine, but what the fuck? So we finally find out um, the guy's name, Ginjo Kugel, um, which I definitely think he's gonna be an ally if we're judging by the opening. But I don't know, what if you can't trust the opening? <laughs> but it looks to me like this guy with the book, I think he's the main antagonist of this arc. I wonder what's up with him. I'm really interested to know why Ginjo is here and involved in this, like, especially with Ishin. He'll be fine. I think he'll be fine. <laughs> His fucking line delivery! <laughs> oh, jeez. Bro, what the fuck? This is giving me Tokyo Ghoul flashbacks. <laughs> it wasn't Ginjo, was it? Actually, looking back at it, I think if I didn't watch the opening and didn't know that Ginjo was kind of like a not the antagonist, I think the fact that they kind of tried to do like a misdirect with, with the white shoes is kind of cool because it really actually had me legit doubting Ginjo as like a ally because I was like, oh, well, they keep showing Ginjo with white shoes, right? But then no, it turns out it was the other guy, you know, the one that got beat up or whatever. Um, so yeah, I just thought that was pretty cool. Okay. Giriko. Okay. Giriko? Oh! Put a sock in it. Praise me. <laughs> she senses that it's not sincere. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. What the fuck? What I should. She is so real. Aww. Hmm. 
Why is why is that your ringtone? Oh my god. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. Oh my god. <sighs> I will gladly have him operate on me. But you didn't hear that from me. <laughs> mm, no, okay, never mind. I was gonna say, where was he during the whole incident uh, with Aizen? But then I'm like, he is a he is a Quincy, and they don't really get along right anymore. So. There is a lot, there is a lot more tension between Ryuken and Ishida than I remember there to be. Like, did they hate each other this much? But I mean, Ishida's in pain, so understandable. <gasps> Take me home! Was that Ginjo? The one who the one who appeared? So are they working together then? Hmm. Interesting. Like I understand not like telling him anything and stuff, you know, because you don't you don't want him to like to have that burden, right? But keeping really crucial things like that mm, will only lead to disaster. So Huh. Uh oh. No. Mm -mm. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So 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 maybe it's not Ginjo then. Okay, so maybe I'm right about like Ginjo being an ally. So this guy is working with the book guy. I think. Uh uh. Okay, yeah. Book guy is kind of hot, though. That's gonna make him, yeah. Uh, 
it's not not gonna go well. Okay, okay. I like that we're getting uh, more of Ryuken in this, which I totally forgot about uh, during the whole incident fight because I was like, hmm, maybe Tesai, Ururu, and Jinsa can help, you know? But they did, they they weren't even there um, to help. But then I totally forgot about Ryuken, um, right? And I like that we're getting more of him. I'm excited. I'm very excited. Yeah, so uh, that guy is probably human. I think we'll go ahead and just get into the last episode of this video. This is a lot of steps. I would just give up. <laughs> Sorry to break the immersion and do not mind my headband. <laughs> I just had to say that she's so pretty! Uh oh. Uh, you go. You know, if Inoue, like, if she gives me even, like, 50 bread, I will eat it. <laughs> it looks hella sketch, bro. Okay. Hmm. Oh. Um. Why? <laughs> No, Ishin. <laughs> I said I said Chad because I thought he I thought Chad because Chad wears Hawaiian shirts a lot. Is it just me? Not a lot, but I just know he wears the one Hawaiian shirt. Or a Hawaiian looking shirt. Um, nice and fast, please. Okay. <laughs> Down. Interesting. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, that's pretty cool.
Damn. Ooh. Super. Okay. Riruka. So we have Ginjo, Riruka, and Giriko. <laughs> is it Ishin? Is it the father? Oh no, it's Chad. Is it? Chad. Okay, yeah. Yeah! Because I was like, he wears that, right? He wears like a Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> oh, oh, wait, wait, is this, is this his part-time job? <laughs> oh my god <laughs> exactly I get it <laughs> she's me <laughs> Oh. 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 Okay, um, that was episodes three, four, three, four, two until three, four, six. I'm curious. Who the other Soul Reaper and human was. Obviously, I think Ichigo will accept it. Um, I think he'll get his Soul Reaper powers back. Um, but that's interesting. They just they just want to return to like normal human beings. Judging by the green energy thing, um, I'm guessing because like Ginjo said, he can like basically like do that shit with the asphalt, right? Um, to make him like jump higher and stuff. So I'm guessing the the book guy is also like them. We know what Ginjo and his crew want. Um, so I wonder what that book guy wants. Also, I wanted to talk about like how Ichigo. I think he definitely wants his um, powers back. You know, as much as he wants to go back to normal and stuff, I think he's still. You know, it. I think he definitely feels empty inside. Um, especially, you know, with Rukia gone, you know, not being able to see any of the Soul Reapers or ghosts. Like, although he did, you know, in the beginning, kind of wanted it gone, I'm pretty sure it's like, it's just not the same, right? And, you know, just having, like, the ability to just see ghosts um, is, like, it, it is what makes him him, you know? So, now that it's all gone, it's like, he's just lost a part of himself, and I just... I just can't imagine that. Like that's so crazy to me. Also, I think it just just adds more to his character because, you know, even from the beginning since his mother's death, we've seen him feel guilty and everything about not being able to do enough. Like a really huge part of Ichigo's character that I really really love is just that he he just wants to save his friends, his family, and I think that's just so admirable of him. But right now because, you know, he's 
he doesn't have his abilities he's like kind of out of the loop of everything you know people are like not telling him stuff it definitely adds to his own self-conflict that he is not able to do anything you know and i just i just it hurts me so much to see him like this i just want him to be happy <laughs> I just want him to be happy. I'm pretty sure he wants his soul reaper powers back. But yeah, we've got new characters um, in this new arc. Um, full brings... Full brings? <laughs> the full bring arc. We still have yet to know... Um, I think there were two more in that room. We still don't know the names of. And we don't know book guy's name. So yeah, that's that. I'm, I'm looking forward to this arc. I'm just looking forward to seeing how... Like, obviously, now we know Ichigo can get his soul reaper powers back. I wonder... I wonder that if he doesn't accept it here, um, then I just wonder how he will get it back, if he ever gets it back. Uh, also, it was really sad to see Rukia go, um, but we will definitely see her again, I'm pretty sure. Um, I'm not sure, I don't think... Maybe she'll not appear in this arc that episode got me like oh you know i just love like really happy good feel moments and that was like such a uh we'll see you again you know kind of scene really sad she's gone for now but yeah we'll see we'll see all of them soon so it's fine that was a very very chill and interesting start to this new arc. I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction and once again if you do like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content from me. Follow my Twitch, my Instagram and I will see you guys in the next Bleach video. Bye!